lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent, as if they're about to say something but never do. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit.
great grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Barbara was a child star for two years, until America grew out of it. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. <sighs> Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage.